What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Welcome to Torso Thursday here at AthleanX. I know another Washboard Wednesday a day late, but I gotta do my best with what we got, right? So here's the deal. More importantly, I wanna help you to solve this problem. The problem is, is your ab workout making you look fat? You see, there actually is a way that you should be breathing when you're doing your ab training that will help you to achieve the goal you're actually trying to do in the first place, and that is to flatten your belly, cinch it down, create a tighter, narrower looking waist. But if you're breathing improperly, you're actually going to be doing the exact opposite. You're going to be working more towards a distended belly, more towards a relaxed belly, and you're going to be looking towards a fatter looking belly even if you have abs. I see guys from time to time that actually have abs that are distended, pushed out, and it's not from anabolic steroid use. So what I want to do today is teach you how to do that properly, but more importantly, get you out of that mindset also of thinking that your ab workout can do anything to combat the fat if you're already fat. You see, people have this idea that I've been doing ab workouts, you, do, you great, give me all these great ab workouts, but I still look fat. It's not doing anything to shrink my belly because no ab workout ever will. The consumed energy in an ab workout is minimal. Maybe 30, 40, 50 calories, you're simply not moving enough muscles at a time for a long enough period of time to cause any significant impact in terms of caloric burn. So an ab workout alone, even if you're consistent with it, will never be enough. That is why in our AthleanX app, the Six Pack Promise, it's actually available on Android and on uh, uh, iOS, we don't just give you the actual ab workout, but we give you a sample meal plan as well to help you to start getting rid of some of that overlying fat, because it's the only way you're ever going to actually have an impact on the fat. There's a couple things that you'll hear when it comes to having a, a thicker looking waist and what you should do about it. First of all, some people will tell you to avoid oblique training because what the obliques will do is thicken your waist and make you look blockier. That's bullshit, guys. That's not good advice. It's one of the worst pieces of advice, especially as you conquer your meal plans and start shredding some of that fat because what your obliques are gonna do is allow you to have that more tapered look. So you can see here that an oblique that's developed, yes, it can cause a little bit of thickness down here. That's just our genetics. That's what we're sort of born with. But it's okay because if the obliques themselves have definition up above, they're gonna create this tapering effect because of the angle that they run. So you never want to avoid oblique training if you're trying to get a more tapered looking waist. You wanna make sure you're pairing your oblique training, most importantly, with a nutrition plan that allows you to show off the obliques. Otherwise, yes, it might look a little blocky, but it's not justice and justifying enough the reason for you to skip doing obliques. But as far as breathing goes, you want to make sure that you're not breathing out during any of your ab exercises. And is this easy? No, it's not that simple. It's a skill that you might have to acquire, but that's okay. Take a little bit of time, just like you did when you started riding a bike, where you started to practice what it feels like, and once you got it right, you can ride a bike without even thinking. Well, you want to make sure that you're not blowing out as you exert or perform the ab movement. So look here on a crunch. If I'm in a crunch, a lot of us make the mistake of doing this. We're crunching up and breathing out at the same time, not controlling or even having any mind at all as to what we're doing with our bellies. We're simply just coming up and blowing out. So if you look here, we come up, we blow out. Come up and blow out. We're pushing out on the belly here without trying to control or actually engage the transverse abdominis beneath that will hold it and cinch it in. You should be doing the exact opposite. You should be actually trying to shrink the waist down as you come up. It's a new sensation for a lot, but it's worth the effort if you're not used to how to do it. And it gets harder the more difficult the ab exercise becomes. You can do it on a hanging leg raise. Is it harder? Like I said, yes it is, but it's worth the effort. Try just to cinch down first, as you see me do here, and then perform the uh, reverse curl here in this case, or the reverse leg raise. But you want to make sure that you're doing it on every single exercise, and you're not holding your breath. You can breathe, you can talk, you can do everything normally, you're just making sure that you're breathing out and cinching in at the same time. If you do that, you will have a much flatter appearing belly. If you don't do that, even despite all the ab work, as a matter of fact, as your ab work piles up, you might start getting that more relaxed and distended look, even if your body fat levels are down. So, what are you gonna do? What's the take home point? Take home point is continue to do your ab training as much as possible. I recommend six to seven times a week. Keep the volume intense, but short. Make sure that you're following a proper nutrition plan. We give you all those things in our Six Pack Promise app, again, with a sample nutrition plan. 
and then support your overall efforts of burning more calories by training more muscles, increasing your resting metabolic rate by having more muscle tissue. And the only way you're going to do that is by training your body completely. So we say it all the time, if you want to look like an athlete, you got to train like an athlete. It doesn't just mean focusing on your abs. Yes, the abs and the core are very uh, central to anything in any athletic physique, but it doesn't end there, guys. You got your legs, you got your upper body, you have your whole rest of your body that you have to focus on. I actually help you to do that too with our Athlinex training program. We leave no muscle out. We leave every, even the unimportant muscles like the rotator cuff that will help you to pre prevent those upper body and shoulder girdle injuries. We're going to address those too. We kind of don't overlook anything. Head over to athletenext.com and get that program. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want to see here, whether it be Washboard Wednesday or Torso Thursday a day late. The idea is I want to make sure I cover what it is that you want to see. All right, guys, we'll be back here again real soon.